Come with me to Tynmouth in sunny South Devon, where long stretches of pleasant beaches and the wide estuary of the River Teen combine with the delightful Devon countryside to provide a resort of unparalleled natural beauty. Tynmouth is one of the smaller resorts, and life is more leisurely than in some of the larger cities by the sea. Most of you have enough of queues and crowds during the year and want to slow down during your holiday. There's plenty of breathing space on the sea front, where wide promenades and open spaces near the beaches keep the traffic away so that the kiddies may play away to their heart's content in perfect safety. We're very proud of our flowers in Tynmouth, a beautiful spring show of tulips and wallflowers, followed by a superb riot of colour in the summer, when many varieties of cottage garden flowers are planted in great profusion in the parks and along the promenades. There are nearly two miles of sandy beaches on the Tynmouth side of the river, with another mile or so at Shaldon and the Ness Cove. You can have the exclusive use of a beach hut during your holiday for a modest charge and what could be more enjoyable than your own headquarters on the beach where you can keep all the swimsuits and other bits and pieces for your holiday without having to carry them backwards and forwards to your hotel. The main car and coach park is right on the sea front and smaller parking areas are close to the promenade. Tenmouth has been described as the angler's paradise Bass and fat fish abound in the estuary. Fishing from small boats is very popular and excellent sport is enjoyed from the end of the pier. The more adventurous spirit can try for some really big congas and taupe out at sea. An angling festival is held at the end of the summer when some quite heavy catches are weighed in. There's trout and salmon fishing on the lower reaches of the teen and plenty of coarse fishing near at hand. When you want to change from the seaside, Take a bus up to Holden Moor, about two miles from the town centre. Here is a level plateau, about 700 feet up, with an unforgettable panorama of coastline, countryside and moors. On a clear day, you'll have a breathtaking view over the whole of the coast from Start Point to Portland Bill. If you're back to the sea, you look over a tremendous expanse of countryside from the hills of Somerset, along the southern heights of Dartmoor, to the threshold of Cornwall in the southwest. And all the time, the skylarks are trilling away with sheer joy as well they might in this heavenly spot. Here also is the Tynmouth Golf Course, once described for its scenery as second only to the famous Monagel course at Monte Carlo. Jolly good putt there. Down on the sea front again, and on the tennis courts. An open tournament attracts many players in July, and a junior tournament in August gives the youngsters a chance to shine. The Den Bowling Green is well known to West Country bowlers for its playing qualities, and contestants from all over the country come down to the open tournament in June. There's another green on the riverside in Bitten Park. Here also you'll find some lovely floral displays and a subtropical conservatory. Should the kiddies tire of bathing in sandcastles, there's the ever popular Peter Pan Railway. Alongside it is the yachting pool. Down on the beach, we have our old friends, the donkeys. And a fleet of pedal craft provides lots of thrills for children of all ages.
We also have a small aquarium on the seafront where many fish and other creatures from the sea around our coasts are attractively displayed in their tanks. Children bring their parents back to Tynmouth. You don't come only to the seaside when you come to Tynmouth. There's the added attraction of the wide river estuary of the Tyne. The port of Tynmouth handles cargo vessels from Sweden, Germany, Holland, France and Italy, besides many British coasters. Much of the China clay from the Tyne Valley is shipped through Tynmouth, which in days gone by was the centre of the Newfoundland dried cod fishery. The quaint old world village of Shaldon lies on the southern bank of the Tyne and is reached either by the bridge across the estuary or by one of the motor ferry boats which ply backwards and forwards throughout the year. Shaldon, although part of Tynmouth, is a self-contained unit with a fierce local patriotism. It's the centre for local dinghy sailing enthusiasts and is also the headquarters of the Hydroplane and Speedboat Club. Also at Shaldon is the Ness, standing sentinel at the river's mouth. On the Ness is an old house with cool and peaceful gardens. get some beautiful views of the river and Tynmouth from the Home Yard's botanical gardens overlooking the estuary. A smuggler's tunnel leads through the cliffs to Ness Cove, a sheltered and secluded bathing beach between Tynmouth and Torquay. Back to Shaldon Village, we find the Shaldon Regatta in full swing. Beach sports are always popular with the kiddies, and sailing in the river is often possible when conditions are not too good in the open sea. We welcome old people, and here is a party of them, leaving one of the seafront hotels for a trip across the moors. Tynmouth is an ideal centre for touring the lovely West Country, and if you have no car of your own, there's a fine fleet of luxury coaches running trips daily to all parts of Devon, Cornwall and Somerset. It's regatta time at Tynmouth now, and yachts of all classes come along to join in this annual feast of sailing. There's a fair on the den, and rowing, swimming and sports events to attract all enthusiasts. One of our regular visitors is HMS Pellew, a Royal Naval frigate adopted by the people of Tynmouth to commemorate the fact that Admiral Pellew, 
the hero of Algiers, once had his home here at Bitten House, now the council's headquarters. There's Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnson opening our carnival, one of the highlights of the season. Run primarily to entertain our visitors, it also raises three or four hundred pounds each year for charity. The teen estuary at high tide provides a broad expanse of water with ideal conditions for hydroplanes and fast motorboats. Here's a hydroplane regatta in progress at Coombe Cellars when we have all the thrills of motor racing on the water. Sunset on the Teen, a beautiful end to a lovely day, and the end of our trip around one of Devon's most attractive resorts.